Okay, so um, you'll notice we have an 8x8 font. Um, it's not uh, B800 as many, many, many people might guess. We actually make this with graphics. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the... Uh, um, there's a global variable uh, structure that uh, has the font as one of the elements. Um, so uh, when I had a Commodore, one of the things we did was character graphics. There's no reason for that um, in... Uh, in this modern operating system, but uh, just for uh, uh, let's see, just to show you what you can do. Um, this is a font. Oh, what what is this? Hold on a second. It's a U8. We want a U64. Oh, that's what I did wrong the other day. Text up font. Okay. So, uh, this is, uh, let's change the letter O, because I see an O right there. Lowercase O. So, uh, that's where the letter O is. Uh, zero plus, let's see, three. So um, what we can do is we can type cast to a I-64. Now this is a strange type cast if you're... Basically what it does, it's post-fix. That's how my type cast works. And whatever is before it gets converted to that directly. Anyway, so uh, there's the... Uh, the lowercase o uh, oh I had that plus crazy plus three there's the lowercase o so if we change it to uh, we can change the font uh, let's do a a a a five 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 actually it's 64 isn't it a a a a five 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 now all the O's are a crazy test pattern. Um, this is what we did did with the Commodore because we had to, but it was fun. We got to learn um, binary for graphics. Bill Gates um, now mocks that. He would probably say, "Oh, you get to learn HTML." When I was in the bad old days, we had to learn binary graphics. Well, that was what that was fun. Did you know the Commodore, in the owner's manual, told how to do graphics like this? Um, th that's what you did with the computer. It was only, I, honestly, it was only white Americans. There weren't any Indians or f other people doing it. So now you get a lot of Indians who don't quite understand. Um, oh well. Um, so. Uh, yeah, Bill Gates. He's uh, he he he. I heard him joke, or somebody joked about uh, an unassemb an unassembler. They they made a joke. Oh, you're a hacker! Ha ha ha! I don't think that's very funny. Hack hacking is a uh, my generation. It's a it's a derogatory term. Oh, they can turn. It's like it's like a surgeon with a hacksaw. Um, that's what a hacker is. This is a derogatory term. You're stupid if you think it's not derogatory. Anyway, that, that's older than computers. A hack. That's a... Uh, it's not good. So now they're making people make fools of themselves, calling themselves hackers. Oh, well. Um, anyway, so... So Bill... So Bill Gates... Bill Gates... Oh, you're... He, He's calling you a criminal if you know what uh, if you know if you know assembly language. He's calling you a criminal. Oh, you're a criminal because you know assembly language. 
Oh, isn't that just lovely? So, my generation, we all learned assembly, and that's what we did. That's that's what got us into computers. You know, the people at OS Dev and Bill Gates, they're hypocrites. Um, they, uh, um, OS Dev, the first thing they do is lock people out of the operating system. That's what they do. And there they are. The whole They're having fun with the operating system kernel, and the first thing they do is lock people out. They they make up as many rules as they can to lock people out. Bill Gates, he started programming 8-bit computers in assembly. Now what does he do? He calls it criminal. That's He had fun, and now he's, he's not letting other people have fun. That's what was fun, you dorkus. We liked hacking. <laughs> Uh, it is hacking if you uh, if you go into the operating system stuff. Anyway, um, but that's how you learn. So what we did was uh, um, we would put the memory on the bitmap screen on the Commodore 64, and then we could see it updating live. So you can um, in this operating system uh, you can do C trace well. C this this turns on the compiler FS FS is the FS segment register FS RIP FS is the the current task um so uh um it's a little bit hard to use but uh for I I built it into the compiler so you don't have a problem. Anyway, so this is in this operating system it's the current task. So what's what's in a task record? Well, there's no difference in process thread or task. Um, in this operating system everybody's on the same map, so thread and process are the same. Everybody has every, it's like one process and everybody's a thread or whatever however you want to think about it. There's only one memory map. So what's in a task record? In a task record, you'll find the registers mostly. That's the most important thing for the context storage. And you find all your task-related items. Um, the, the client document for the editor and the border document for the editor, those are documents. Put document, display document. It'll double buffer. Border document, standard out is put document display document there you can have double buffering that's why there's a put document and a display document there's the heap each task has a code heap and a data heap that's so when it dies it returns a memory the current disk partition current disk directory the parent task siblings um, now this is where it gets interesting uh, we have the uh, window left window right window top window bottom take a look at this Okay, let's uh, let's do a. C okay, so dump dump fs. This is a static dump. This is a static dump. Um, there's document dump fs. This is document dump fs. This is a uh, dynamic dump. Um, that this is what I was talking about on the Commodore. We used to put stuff on the screen dynamically. Let's do document dump fs comma size of um, c task. This will dump the whole task. That's the whole task record. There we have the uh, the, regist the registers and stuff are in there and the um, window coordinates. Um, let's do a c uh, a class rep. Class rep dynamic of FS, um, and uh, so we have the. Uh, there's the registers. You can see them changing live. Um, now here's the interesting part. This is the um, the window coordinates of the borders. This is the win the window. Let's see. I just moved the top window. Now I'm going to move the bottom up. I'm going to move the bottom up to six. I just moved the bottom window. Now, this pixel coordinates are, uh, we have an 8x8 eight eight grid, and the, the pixels is the derived value. Uh, so the, it's just 8 times this. It gets updated frequently. What else we have in here? We have, um, 
there's a this scroll X scroll Y. Watch this. When I uh, look at the eight, uh, you can see the eight um, zero. Oh, it's uh, built into the uh, API is a uh, is a pan that always works on all the API calls. Anyway, so you never need to do panning. Um, what else do we have? Anyway, so uh, so uh, um, this operating system is intended to uh, open up all this. You're supposed to play around with all this stuff. That's what we did. That's what we. That was our entertainment. Was playing around with all this stuff. Um, let's see where the jiffies are. Um, we should be able to see the uh, wake jiffy. That's if you put it to sleep. Um, we can put it to sleep for a little while. Anyway, so uh, other operating systems put this off limits, but this is the whole purpose of ours is to have fun with this. So uh, how about that? What else can we look at? Um, there's the CPU record. That's the current core. G at the GS segment register. The GS segment register is the current core. C CPU. It's not very interesting. We keep track of how what the idle factor is. Um, the current Seth task. That's the uh, or the Seth task is the manager of that core. Um, Seth is the son of Adam. Um, we can have the. We still have that O character. I shouldn't have done that. Profiler. What do we got? Uh, Jiffy's. We can. CPU flags. Um, anyway, so uh, have fun.